let's attempt to do some sort of mashup. So starting in logic, I'm going to press F to bring up my file browser. I'm going to search for the files that I want to bring in, so I'm going to bring them in off the desktop. I've got some mashup things already here. So I'm just looking for my audio files. Uh, I'm going to take in uh, Billy Jean, why not? You know, Billy Jean, yeah, I love my little... Okay, there we go. Uh, so I'm going ahead, and I think I'm going to take, um, you know, maybe the baseline from Under Pressure, you know, to, uh, to steal, why not? And then we're going to take uh, too funky. Uh, there we go. And then we've got a bunch of bass or um, beats to work with here. So I'm going to do a diff different tempo. I'm going to do 140, just setting up my tempo. So my tempo's down here. It's creating an overview. I'm going to get these out of the way. They're kind of in the way at the moment. So here we go. So I've imported the files that I want. It's creating an overview. I'm just doing some weird stuff to them. So uh, let's make it a little bit bigger. And I just want to hear the Billy Jean section here. So let's start by pulling a couple of beats out. And then we got the bass line coming in afterwards. So big, strong transients. If I wanted to uh, mark out one bar, I'm going to use the marquee tool. So there's my marquee tool. I'm using the left arrows to go to that beat. I'm using shift to select. And up top, it's automatically drawing in a cycle. So I'm going to cycle it. This obviously isn't a complete loop yet. So let's just hear it. See how it's dropping a beat? So then as you go through, you can see that as you go through, you'll start to get a complete bar. So I use my marquee, and I've pretty much almost got a complete bar there. So. Once I have it selected with the marquee tool, I'm selecting a region. There's a region. I'm suggesting you press escape or command period, bring up your text tool, and label it. So this is my, come on, yeah, that's not allowing me to do it. There it is, finally. So this is the Billy Gene Beat 1. Now this, you can do anything that you want on yours. I'm not suggesting you do Billy Jean per se. I'm just suggesting that you get that one beat up. Now let's match tempo. So I've got one bar and I can line it up somewhere and in order to get it a lot faster you notice that this is one bar of of audio in Billie Jean but uh, one bar happens a lot quicker because I've got my tempo at 140 more of a, a dance thing which is insane so I'm just gonna create a, a beat quickly just so that you get an essence of what I'm trying to accomplish here. I'm bringing up Alter Beat, I'm gonna do four on the floor. I'm gonna program quickly four on the floor with a 909 we talked about in class, that's great. So I'm gonna zoom in, go back to the beginning. Let's create a region for this. And then all I have to do is four on the floor. So I'm just going in, pressing Command, and just going, mm, 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 and that should be good. So I might need the velocity to be a little bit louder. Let's see, I'm going to select the velocity tool. Yeah, make it a little bit louder on that, a little bit louder on that one. Let's see what it sounds like. Okay, and I'm going to turn the tempo down a little bit. I think 132 might be better. So there we go. Now I can repeat regions by going to regions, repeat regions, which is command R. And then I can choose copies or aliases. I am going to do copies for the time being. And uh, 100, the longest song you've ever seen. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now when I grab this Billy Jean, let's see how it compares to the actual tempo of the song. Let's see what I have to do is line it up. And I'm selecting it, and I'm trying to bring it right to measure two. And you see it is longer than one measure over here, therefore the tempo has to be sped up. So I'm going to take my loop and I have to determine the loop. And the loop starts at two, ends at three, one bar long. Now that I've got the region selected, this is the most important part of what we have to do. Go to the audio menu and choose time stretch to locators. Here is the time stretch algorithm. Let's go in and take a look. So what I'm doing is going to the audio menu with my cycle on one loop because I know I've done one bar of this, so it has to be one bar in length. I'm choosing time stretch to locators, which is also option command L. And I'm choosing the algorithm. In this case, it's percussive 
So then I can choose that algorithm. So when I go audio, here's where we got time stretch to locators. I'm going to convert and process. And watch what happens. Oh, yeah. So here is my song from the beginning. So you'll start to hear four on the floor recorded before, and then Billy Jean sped up to be in time with the actual song. Three, four. Okay, now let's go back and see what the actual sound of Billie Jean was. I'm going to pull this out. Hopefully that's unaffected. Here's the, the actual tempo of Billie Jean. Three, four, one, two. Okay, what I've essentially done is got Logic to play it a lot faster. And if I wanted to, I could take out these individual hits and put them into a sampler instrument and do some other cool things as well. Now that I've got this region, I can command R on it as well. And it's saying, do you want to make create copies? Well, let's do, uh, I'm not going to do five or something. So then there's five bars of that loop. So we've got them together. Okay, sounds good. I got them working together. Sounds great. Now let's do the same thing with the under pressure. We'll we'll add a couple other elements so that you can see what's going on. You can hear. Here's under pressure. Okay, let's see if I can get that to be. Okay, so then. There is a loop in there, so let's see where it is. Okay, so I'm going to try and find that loop. Just give me a second. Using my mark key tool, same as before, shift clicking along, turning on cycle. Selecting my loop with my marquee tool. This should be a complete loop. Yeah, it's a nice loop, right? So we've got that loop, and I think we have to count this out. I'm pretty sure it's two bars. One, two, three, four, one, two, ready, and boom. So this is actually two bars. So I've got two bars. So I can label it again, pressing escape, text tool, and let's select this. This is under. I'll select all. Under pressure, uh, two bar intro. So then I've got it. Let's see what I can do by bringing it in. So I'm going to make this a lot smaller. Bring it back in. I'm going to bring it somewhere else. Escape. Change my tool. I'm going to try and line it up. It doesn't matter where I line it up. I'm just bringing it in. I just want it to be right on a bar of some sort. This isn't allowing me to be exactly on one bar. Uh, let's see if it is. Uh, one bar. One to two. I have to change this from smart to samples. And let's just make sure that I'm exactly on one bar. Otherwise, it won't work. See, I'm just moving that along. And all of a sudden, it'll flip to 8.1. There we go. Close enough. Let's zoom out. I've got two bars in length, so I have to select two bars up top. And those two bars, I can probably go back to Smart to select them. So I have my region selected. I did exactly two bars. Now I'm doing two bars over here. I know I'm two bars because it's in an 8 out of 10. I've got the region selected. It's going to all lock to tempo. Hopefully everything's good. You can see it's a little bit longer, so it's going to go faster. So audio. This time it's going to be a little bit different. It's not just percussion. It's got the piano in there. It's got the bass in there, so I'm going to use algorithm. Not universal, but I'm going to use complex. So audio, complex, and then stretch regions to locators. Boom, Mary Sure, convert and process. What does it sound like? I think it sounds like a million bucks. So uh, let's turn off the cycle, go back to the beginning. 
or Billie Jean. And let's just get to the under pressure. And then there you go, in time. I'm going to do one more time so that you can see. I know it's taking a long time, but let's figure this out. Too funky. Okay, so I'm going to zoom in. Zoom in. Let's get over where we need to be. And okay, so what we need is marquee tool right around there. Let's find it. There we go. And then we need to loop it. should be our, my complete loop. Yeah, it's perfect. So I'm going to turn off the cycle. There's a two bar loop. Again, pressing escape, choosing your text tool, I'm making this say too funky. Select all. Come on. Too funky. And two bar. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing where I bring this back. Bring this back over here. I'm choosing to zoom in. Make sure that my smart snap is set to sample so I can get it exactly on the bar that I want it to start on. And uh, it's close, not quite. Need to zoom in a little bit more. Where is it? Mm, 240 there. Uh, that's too bad I couldn't place it exactly where I want it. Uh, there is a way to do that, but oh, we're close enough. Okay, now. Choosing Smart Tool, going back to Smart. And let's make our loop, starting on 10, and again 12. That's two bars. This one you can see is going to be the biggest change. So audio, again, time stress complex. Stretch regions to locate is important process. So here's what we got. Newly processed audio. Oh, that sounds great. So. I can uh, interchange some other things as well at the same time. So Billy Jean, I can pull in at any time. Let's um, have that repeat. So repeat region another five times over top. So then here is the transition from that and our mashup. So it's not quite complete, but. And so on, and you can include vocals with whatever you got. You can build up arrangement, add bass lines, add synth pads. You can also change the pitch of something as well. So we'll show you that. If this, I want this to create in a different key, I'm selecting it. Let's hear it again, just so that we got. So I'm going to select it. I am going to go to the Wave Editor. Now that I've got it selected, it'll be Factory Time in Pitch Machine. And here, this is amazing say okay this is what mode free complex I don't want to change the time let's keep it the same this would change the tempo of things if you knew the tempo of something you wanted to change the entire thing we can also change the uh, I'm gonna bring it down by two semitones whatever here's the let's do a harmonic correction okay let's bring it up Let's see what happens when we bring it up. Well, it's not quite doing it, the pitch. Let's see what happens. Let's see if it changed the pitch. Oh, well, you get the idea, so then we get the own files. So there you go. There's our mashup. <laughs>